I'm so glad you're here today, and I hope you're ready for another super fun week of Emoji Madness! Once again, we're gonna crack open the Book of Psalms and see what it has to say about one of the many emotions that people feel. Hey, Riley. Yeah. Speaking of cracking open the Book of Psalms, did you know that there is a really easy way to find Psalms in your Bible? How? All you need to do is take it and just go right into the middle of your Bible. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and it will be Psalms. Whoa! And did you know what the word Psalm means? I don't know. Well, it means that Psalm is a song. And that's what a lot of the Psalms are. They're actually songs that were written to God. But ancient Jew Jewish songs didn't rhyme like ours do yeah. today. Instead of repeating sounds, the Psalms repeated ideas over and over again. Whoa, that's really cool. It is. Okay, but here's one of the coolest things about the book of Psalms. Hmm. It's filled with all kinds of emotions. It sure is. Happy, sad, scared, or mad, the book of Psalms has them all. Are you ready to see which emotion we're going to look at today? Drum roll, please. This week, we are looking at anger. <sighs> For some people, it takes a lot to make them angry. And for some, it takes a little. Just a little bit to make them angry. But whenever it takes a lot, or even a little, or somewhere in between, we all get angry sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's why this week's psalm is so important for us to learn. Let's take a look and see what it is. Open your Bibles to Psalms 37, verse 8. Turn away from anger and don't give in to wrath. Don't be upset because that only leads to evil. Let's dive deeper into the Psalms by looking at a story from another book in the Bible, the book of First Kings. Hmm. In the Old Testament, there was a Jewish king named Ahab. King Ahab lived in a beautiful palace, but there was just one problem with it. It didn't have a vegetable garden. <laughs> King Ahab had an idea though. There was a man named Nabo Naboth, Naboth, Naboth. Naboth, I don't know, Naboth? Naboth, who owned a vineyard right next to the palace. So Ahab said to Naboth, hey buddy, I have a great idea. Why don't you give me your vineyard since it's right next to my palace and I want to use it for a vegetable garden. I'll trade you for an even better vineyard. But Naboth didn't like that idea, and his family had owned the vineyard for many generations, mm. and he didn't want to trade it, so he said, no thanks. Now, this made King Ahab angry. Mm -hmm. He laid on his bed and he threw a fit. He was in such a bad mood and he wouldn't even eat. And when his wife Jezebel came in, she asked what was wrong, and King Ahab told her. I told Naboth that I wanted his vineyard, and he said no. I am so mad, it's not fair. Huh, and when Jezebel heard about this, she came up with an evil plan. <gasps> she wrote some letters pretending to be King Ahab, and in the letters, she told some important people to invite Naboth to a fancy dinner. And during the dinner, she had two evil men sit across from Naboth, and she told them to lie about him. The two men accused Naboth of saying terrible things about God and the king, even though it wasn't true. And the people dragged Naboth out of the city and killed him by throwing stones at him. Oh my goodness. When Jezebel heard the news, she got excited. Ugh. She went and told Ahab, Naboth is dead. Go and take his vineyard now. So that's what King Ahab did. He stole the vineyard after he had killed oh, him. Oh no. That is great news for Ahab, right? Uh-uh, not so much. God knew all about what Ahab did, and he was not happy. No. So God sent a prophet to confront Ahab, and the prophet told Ahab that God was going to cause horrible trouble oh. for him and his entire family. And when Ahab heard what the prophet said, he was so sad that he tore his clothes oh. and he stopped eating. Ugh. Yeah. So in our story for today, Ahab and Jezebel were kind of like this can of soda, because when Naboth said that Ahab couldn't have the vineyard, they got 
more and more and more angry the more they thought about it when the both said the angrier they got until finally they exploded with <laughs> anger <laughs> <laughs> Jezebel and Ahab were so upset that they had them both killed and they stole his vineyard now you've probably done nothing terrible before mm. right yeah but we all get angry sometimes and maybe because your sister is playing on your tablet oh. and she doesn't ask. She crocks your screen. That would make you angry. Uh. Maybe your friend tells everyone at school something embarrassing and uh. you told them not to tell. Yeah. I think that's happened to everyone. Maybe your parents punish you for doing something that your brother did. Oh no. What are some other things that have really made you mad before? Well, one time my sister hit me and <gasps> that made me mad. That would make me mad. And another time I had to do her chores oh. when it was when she was supposed to do it. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just finally burst. But before you open your mouth and say something you regret, you need to look at the Psalm for today. Let's take a look at it together. Open your Bibles to Psalm 37 verse eight. Turn away from anger and don't give in to wrath. Don't be upset because that only leads to evil. Have you ever been so upset that you did or said something really mean? Yeah. Mm. That's what this verse is talking about. If you don't control your anger, your anger will control you. It will cause you to do something evil that you wouldn't normally do, like push your brother down, or call your friend a terrible name, or scream at your parents. And that's why God says to turn away from your anger. When you feel like you're going to explode, God wants you to step. <laughs> Let me explain what that means. The S stands for step away for a minute. If you're about to explode on someone, don't be around them. Go somewhere by yourself until you can calm down. The T stands for take a breath. <sighs> and the E stands for exhale. <sighs> and the P stands for pray. Pray that God would help you control your anger in a way that honors him and makes him happy. And after you step, look at what happens. It keeps you from exploding. If you think about it, that's what God does with us. We sin against him all the time. Mm. But instead of exploding with anger, God offers us forgiveness. He gave us his son, Jesus, so that our sins would be washed away and that we would live forever with him in heaven. Mm. And the next time someone makes you mad, let's try forgiving them the same way that Jesus forgave us. Yeah. So let's take a few seconds to pray. Okay, guys, let's bow our heads. Father, we just thank you that you are there with us when we get angry. And we pray that we would use the, the step, that we would step away, that we would calm down, and that we would think of the way that you forgive us. Father, thank you for forgiving us for all of our sins that we do over and over and over again. Father, be with our grandkids this week. Love on them and care for them. For we pray in your name, amen. Okay, guys, remember to do your activities for week three, and we'll see you again next week for week four. Woo! See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.